Greetings and welcome back everyone to Factorio Beginner's Guide, where I and my friend Shenrir shall be uh, trying to show the right way, or rather, quote-unquote, the right way, to resolve a specific problem that our factory has encountered. Shen, do you want to mention what that problem might be? No. I mean, yes. I mean, we ran out of oil. How did yeah. we do that? Why are we out of oil? What happened? Well, it's more that we ran out of fuel, really, than oil. But we ran out of fuel because we ran out of oil. Right. And a large part of that is, as we've mentioned previously, although oil derricks never completely run out, they just drop down how much they can find. Pretty much all of our oil derricks are down to 0 0.1 piece of oil per second. We've got... Uh, we've actually got enough that we were getting one oil per second. <laughs> from all of our oil derricks. That we placed so down sad. another one over here that's getting 0 0.7. There are a couple of others, but they're all under our smelters and we don't really want to get rid of those. We managed to tap a couple of others just to the east here. If we zoom the map out right all the way, we can see, ooh, Shen, you playing chicken there? No, you're not, good boy. Uh, we've got, <laughs> <laughs> you've already died once to a train. Not again, not on my watch. Uh, we've got a couple there, but this is really not gonna resolve our problem for us. Although you can't actually see that we're out of fuel, because over here, it looks amazing. We're, we're stacked up with fuel, but over here, wasn't so. I mean, it, it looks okay now because we've got the, the new oil derricks online, but we had actually run out of fuel for our for our uh, steam engines. The furnaces, yeah. Fun. All Well, not the, the yeah. steam engines, yeah. This entire Boilers, belt yeah. line was completely empty. All of the yeah. oil refineries had turned off. So no smelting, I mean, no uh, cracking was going on, no fuel blocks yep. were being produced, and we were running out of electricity in the factory. So well, there's two ways that you can resolve this problem. Yeah? Uh, what, what are those ways? E either we, we tap more oil or what? Or we use less oil. Well, what do you mean, use less oil? We're expanding our factory. How can we possibly use less oil? Well, specifically using less fuel. That way, we, in effect, use less of our oil to make fuel. And the main way that we can do that is something we've discussed briefly a long time ago. Our furnaces are set up in a very specific way to accommodate a later upgrade. And that later upgrade is electric furnaces, which are 3x3s instead of 2x2s. Electric furnaces, as the name implies, doesn't use fuel. It uses electricity to heat elements and then smelt um, the, the ores that way. So we would massively cut down on the fuel consumption of our base. Fuel at that point would pretty much only be being passed on to the trains and the steam engines. That's all that would really be using the fuel block. So we'd be good on a very, very small oil income for a long time. Could Unfortunately, be... there is a slight problem with that. Shen, do you want to mention what the problem is? Yeah, well, we're talking about switching all these over to electric furnaces, which is great because most of our fuel is currently being used by all these smelters that we have. Mm -hmm. But electric furnaces take stone to build. And yes. we don't have stone. I mean, we have a little bit in a box, which is great, but we don't have enough to really make any of these electric furnaces. And unfortunately, mm -hmm. our map, we've talked about this before, we just don't have much stone on our map. It's so sparse and so limited. And like these tiny little deposits that we've spotted on the map, they're so tiny. We, they're going to run out in no time at all. But we're going to have to tap them because it's the only thing on the map. Yep. I'm just showing on my map, just mousing over the absolutely minuscule little stone deposits that we've got on the map. The biggest node, the biggest single node, we've got, uh, we've got two very small ones, not too far away from I Loop South. But we've got a, a much larger one. Just a little bit to the northwest from I Loop Northwest. Yep. So I think we'd probably want to go and tap I Loop Northwest, honestly. Because that that setting up a, a little mining outpost is going to have more of an effect there because it's going to last a little bit longer. Yeah, I, I still think 
Uh, we spoke about how we want to set up though, and I, I still think it's going to be uh, advantageous if we just mine it out as fast as possible. Just put yes. out as, put as many little diggers down as possible. Let it let yep. it bleed dry, and then we'll have to find some more stones somewhere else. Absolutely. Actually, but rather than walking down there, I think all of our tanks are currently at the the loop, right? The the loop area. So we'll take the train down there. You want to catch the caboose? Hop on this Remember, side. turn it back on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we are off. Try again. Hopefully we are going. There we go. <laughs> there we go. I basically just overrode it and told it to head down there ASAP. And by going down here, we're going to be able to show off a couple of the things that we've done down there as well, which is actually pretty cool. Yeah, we've, we've finished done our a little loop. bit of work. We talked about... Uh, I might as well get off here. <laughs> okay. Come on. Uh, so last time we were talking about having uh, on the loop train, we were going to have, what, three cars, I think we mentioned. Uh, yeah. But it turned out being a little better for us to have two trains with two cars each. So essentially there's four yes. cars in use all the time on the loop, but we have two trains. And the trains are pretty much always in opposite ends of the loop. So at each station, there are four stations on the loop. We have Central, where they drop off the ore. And then they have mm -hmm. east, the northwest, and the southwest. And each station has one signal. And the signal basically tells the train whether it's okay to leave the current station that it's in. Currently it's green, yeah. that one's okay to leave. And now it's red because he just left. And it'll stay red until he leaves the next station. And the setup exactly. is very simple because the trains just go in a circle around the loop. That's all they do. Mm -hmm. One thing that we don't do right now is we have no automatic fuel loading going on here. Mm -hmm. That is a bit of a problem, honestly. It does concern me a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a very simple little setup here. Bob, oh, and provided with a little tiny smidgen of power. And I'm going to fill this with wood and one stack of fuel blocks. <laughs> wood. That should keep it going for a little while. I'll give it my wood, Back to powering our trains with wood. Uh. But that'll work for both trains. They'll both stop there. And now, yeah. since we've committed to taking out uh, this stone deposit to the northwest of Northwest Loop, we need to go clear out those biter nests around there. Indeed we do. So, a little bit of uh, ultraviolence to start off the episode. Ghost Shen, you know, just reversing into the walls. You know what? It's it's the design Ghost of the Shen. tank. I see the, the two green lines in front of me. I'm like, oh, that's my turret. But it's not. The turret's the opposite direction. <laughs> oh, I'm just blind. <sighs> don't mind me. <laughs> but as you can see, we don't actually have any walls set up over there. And that is a bit of a problem. But you once know, we hey, you know what? Base down walls here, aren't free. They take stone, man. We don't have any stone. <laughs> they do. And that is, that is the big problem for us right now. Is we just flat out do not have stone. Let's try and take that out if I can. Nope. Uh, hitting everything, but... I'm just going to drive a little bit. I for that shot, though. I think I need to. There we go. Take out this worm. I love driving over biters. Have I mentioned that before? You have, I think. A few times. What is the go. term for someone who uh, shoots xeno xenophobes? What are they called? Xenos. Shoot xenophobes? No, xenos. Xenophobic? No, xenophobic means you're afraid of them. Oh, okay. Um, it's got to be a term for it. Uh, space Marine? Sure. <laughs> I'd say I'd say that that's that's about the the most fitting term for someone who just you know habitually kills Xenos. Okay, so that is now cleared. Let's uh, clear the ones just to the south as well. I would say. I thought the ones to the north might be more pressing. Uh, we can hit them all, honestly. No particular reason not to. Oh, there's oil here. The bases are fairly small, so... You're just enjoying running them over, aren't you? Don't you? Uh, I try to keep my tank a little bit more not dead. Generally. Right, I'm hitting the spawners, and they're all gone. There we go. Having a hard time catching that one, though. Yeah, and oh. the last worm. There we go. I didn't even see those guys down here. Let's wipe these ones out. They're right next to me. We've got a couple of the larger biters. A little bit of a pain. Of course, you just ran straight through it. That was glorious. Absolutely perfect timing. Okay. There we are. 
Not too bad, all things considered, I would say. Yeah, if we're going to get that stone, it is, like, directly north. Yeah, there's some bases close there. we got to get up there. Yeah. Yeah, agreed. Uh, so, do you want to hit the two bases to the north? If we can. Okay. Ah! That was my fault. That no, that time was I me. You were point I keep oh, getting confused. <laughs> I see those okay. green lines. I'm like, that's forward. It's backwards. There we go. So this is the node that we're going to be tapping. Just coming into sight now. It's not a, that small of a node, but it's not going to last us very long. Yeah, it looks like a lot of stone, but there's really not that much there. It, it's no. it's enough for maybe, I want to say, maybe a couple thousand walls. Oh, yeah. Oh, my lord. You're playing chicken? Yes. Okay. Grab this. Oh, shit. Then... What's wrong? I don't have repair packs? I thought I had... Oh, they're in my pocket. What the... Yeah. That was weird. I put them out of my pocket somehow. And once we're done here, we can hit that blast base to the side. I would say... Oh, to you the west? To yeah. Yeah. Then we can move on from there. I think we can drop down some uh, capsules. Oh, really? Yeah, because we've got a huge follow up count now. Wow, those things, because they're so heavily upgraded, they are annihilating the bases. Look at them go! Yeah, that's amazing. Slow down, my fathers. Destroy! Destroy everything. It's because they, they're benefiting from the uh, bullet upgrades. I'm just letting them do the work. I should probably stop being lazy, though. <laughs> this is so fun just picking them off with one cannon shot. There we go. Got one just down by there. Hello. And there's another base. Alright, my follower's just died. And there's one. Oh dear. Slowed down there when I really should not have. Die. All of you die. <laughs> I ran out of there ammo, so I just ran them all over. Well, my tank is about to run out of life at this state. Got a um, lot of them following me. I'll try to run some over. Just keep running. Okay. I'm just going to deploy more of my bots. They should be able to help me. <laughs> Are you just racing this? them down. That's <laughs> fantastic. Oh, I missed that one. Beep, beep. Okay, there we go. Right, well, we are good. Let me get my repair pack. <laughs> I can't believe I went through like 32 <laughs> cannon rounds and all, like 200 of the red uh, ammo rounds. It's good, though. And it's pretty good that we've got such a high <laughs> follow account now. Because those bots, are, you know, they're no joke. I can do a yeah. lot of damage. How long do they last? A uh, little while. I'm not exactly certain of the uh, length that they'll last for, but they're running out now. Um, lifetime, 45 seconds. Actually, that's not bad at all. It's more the, than uh, enough for one or two engagements, actually. Do you see the bases that are around us now? Those are huge. Yes, I do. They're gigantic. All right, so where's the stone that A little bit of a concern, honestly. You know what it is? It's because we're playing multiplayer and we're kind of... We're, we're doing a lot of stuff at our base. We're just ignoring all these bases out here. And they're just growing. Yeah. They just grow. Yeah. All right, let's slow down there. And fire. There we go. Who's shooting? Wow. I was shooting a giant rock that was there. Oh. There we go. All right. So what okay. do we need down here? I'd say maybe, maybe eight diggers, I think, should handle all this. Maybe we can squeeze in a couple more to just pressure oh, I might the. I'm squeeze in more than that. Mm, actually, let me make a couple. More. I've got 46. Right, so we're probably going to need a good many solar panels for this setup. I would say. Let me move some of those down. Uh, get move those splitters. Move. Move. Sorry. There we are. Actually, let's reposition this one. 
there instead. There we go. That's going to be a pretty aggressive tap of this area. Getting them all powered, which is going to be a pain. <laughs> I'll put some solar down. You got some accumulators on you? I will check in just a moment. I don't believe I've actually got any accumulators on me now. I'll see. That'll do right there. And I'll lift this one up a bit. Perfect. Uh, as far as accumulators, no, I'm afraid not. I can drive back and grab a couple, though. I've got a bunch. Okay. I'll lay down the uh, conveyor belt then. Sounds good. Uh, where do you want to... We're talking about sending this over by train, I think. Uh, where do you want to put the train stop? Like right next to the solar here? Uh, yeah, just below it would be fine. Up properly. Now this is just a little setup we're gonna have. It doesn't need to be a particularly uh, expansive stop. This one, we don't need to worry too much about it. But uh, well, you should you should build as you mean to go on, really. So we may as well have it split up properly. Wow! Like right, properly. I'm not sure we need this many accumulators. Oh, well. I apologize for nothing. <laughs> I regret nothing. No, that, that'll, be, that'll be plenty for this little base. We should be fine. Can we... Hmm, do we actually need that there? Look at that stone. We haven't seen this stuff in forever. Do you remember what it looks like? Oh, no, do you remember yeah. what it tastes like? Uh, not being Abigail... I can't say that I often eat stuff. I eat quartz and emeralds. How'd you know I was hungry? Yeah. Ah, uh, Abigail. Right. We're going to want some... A train stop for one thing. I'll start putting some walls train? down. I've got actually four diesel locomotives. We've got plenty. Do you have cargo? Yep, I've got three. Of them. Okay. Right, let's pop this one down there. There we go. So this is a nice little setup. Now, the regular thing that we do, just have six inserters feeding, but wow. from each side. I'm out of stone walls. Ah, damn, we need to push this down a little bit further. Drench. That is going to be a problem. What do you need to push down? We either can't have the buffer, or we need the train track to go down one level. Oh, we can't we can't squeeze this in any. No, unfortunately not. Not if we want it properly uh, balanced. So we'll just move oh, this oh, down I, by like I bet we two. can. I bet we can. How? By turning these a bit. Okay. Your wizardry confuses me. But we will work with it. We save one, one tile. Uh, yeah, actually, that might be all we need. Well, well done, Shen. <laughs> one tile saved. Quite often, that's all you need. Excellent. Right, okay. And we can run it down the side. And then split it again. Uh, how many splitters do you have? Six. Okay, just pop one below. There we go. Now, will this be enough? No! We ha will have to bring it up by one again to your little snake magic. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Voodoo. Pretty much. But then that should work. I am thoroughly impressed, Jen. That's what she said? Did she? I don't uh, know. There we go. It's going to be a little bit squirrely based on where it's pulling from, but... Oh, uh, that's glorious. It'll do. 
It'll be okay. And this is all because I put the track down like two tiles too too far up. But you know what? It's done. <laughs> it'll 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 work. I'm sure. We're fine. Right. So do you want to load from the other side as well? Underground yeah. belt. Yeah, of course. We want to get all the loading done we can. There we go. And down on this side. Now, what we ideally want to do is not spend too many resources setting this place up because ultimately we want to get through it pretty quickly. Yeah. And that's the whole whole reason why we're here. We we need this stone now rather than later. So if we can get all of this done, then Oh look, our first spiders. Move on to other things. Ah, hello. Of course I got a shot then. Why have I thought that I do that? Now? Right, let's see. We'll bring down a little bit of power as well and set up some lasers. I have brought plenty of lasers for this occasion. That would quite work the way I want to do. Because I'm very bizarre like this, I am going to actually move things around just to make room. Yeah, go for it. There we go. Move the walls as needed. There we are. We'll just have a bank of six lasers there. That should do. I do prefer to try and keep the lasers back from the walls, though. I've noticed that uh, biters, the melee attackers, mm -hmm. can sometimes hit something through, the wall? through a wall. Really? Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Must have like a swipe attack or something. Uh, I, I fear you may have stuck your tank. Oh? Uh, it is now stuck. It is never leaving. No, so you just drive through the wall. It's all good. No. Not my beautiful wall. It's made of stone. Are you ready for this? Go on then. It's in my pocket. <gasps> Magic! <laughs> How can you fit a tank in your pocket? The it's... same way you fit a locomotive in your pocket. Uh, okay. Touché. Is that a locomotive in your pocket, or are you happy to see me? Uh, no comment. <laughs> uh, there we go. I have a few more lasers just on this side as well. That should do. I'll drop down a light as well. Okay, that's a fairly nice little area. It, it's capable of running itself, effectively. Unfortunately, though, standing here, these accumulators are going to take forever to load. They I swear they aren't actually charging. They might be. Is it like dusk? Are they being used? No. So the panel performance is at max. Oh, it says they're being consumed. Up. It says they're being consumed. They're under the production tab instead of under the consumption tab. Hmm. It, it'll all Yet change once we. Panels. Once we have a train hooked up here, it'll start loading and using all these extra inserters. That'll that'll get yeah. through the juice. I think we just need more solar. Yeah, it does look like uh, yeah our diggers are not running particularly fast. Yeah, we need more solar. We need more solar. Wow. It is. I'm genuinely surprised by that. Genuinely surprised. That's Don't worry, I got you, I got you covered. All the solar. Fantastic. Have you heard All of green energy? More solar. You've um, heard of green energy, right? That that's that's where we, we take biters and we run them through a juicer and then we use that to power our city. That that sounds horrible. It doesn't sound like the sort of thing a dapper person would do, honestly. Right, let's grab a little bit of wood just to fuel our train so I can move around. Once I've positioned it, then I'll drop down the cargo wagons again. We should be good. Oh, um, just no fuel? Okay. Oh, wow, no fuel. There we go. They can't run on stone? Apparently not. I know, crazy, but true. Right, there we go. Oh, what's this station called? Gilbertron Heavy call this one? <laughs> Gilbertron Heavy Industries. Okay. <laughs> We're not going to call it Stone 10, and I don't think we should call it Neo Stone 10. What do you think we should be called, Chen? Ah. Uh, Purple Chocolate Massacre. 
I don't think I'm going to be able to fit that one. That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> do you spell amethyst with an I or an E? A Y. Oh, is it? Okay. What amethyst did you name Y. Because you said to name it something with purple. So. It still says Gilbertron Heavy Industries. No, it doesn't. Step aside, oh, my good man. Amethyst Quarry. Yeah, okay, cool. Amethyst? That's what, that's what I asked. <laughs> how do you spell it? Uh, change the name to whatever it is. I don't know how to spell oh, it. Oh, you're mocking my spelling now. I have no idea how to spell it. Oh, cruel. I, I put in Amy Thest. You like Amy, right? So it's now Amy Thest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, you have stone walls. Look at this guy. He's a magician. Right, let's get in here. Drive it up to the quarry. You know what? We're just going to call it Purple Quarry. Nice. <sighs> well, it's I night time, and the accumulators <laughs> did not didn't have enough that. juice. So right, this is this is an in. issue. Good. Should we hook this up to the main power grid, or are we confident that we can rely on solar here? Um, if we give it enough, then we can rely on solar. Yeah. Okay. But it all comes down to giving it enough. I'm gonna move our tanks out of the way. Now we may need some more fuel. I'm gonna have to go and chop down some more trees. It's probably fuel in the tanks. Well, that's a good point, actually. Yes, it is. I put in some spare fuel blocks. See, you were thinking ahead. I know. Uncommon for me, I, I grant you, but. There we are. Alright. Now then, I want a little bit more protection down hither. And then we're more or less ready to go. Yeah, I think we might have gone overkill on the turrets on the north. That's what one turret. Ah, fine. Fine. There's 13 turrets on the north wall. It's fine, just these <laughs> things will die faster. Do, uh,. Do lasers have a passive amount of energy they use when they're not active? Uh, they might do. Um, we'll see when the sun comes up and things start to charge. Well, sun is up right now, and the accumulators are actually charging, which is great. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good enough for me. I'm going to finish out this little wall section. I wish I had a wall. Uh, you didn't think ahead enough. Well, I brought wall with yeah. me. I brought like a hundred, but it just wasn't enough. And this is part of the reason why we. Oh, did you? You walled in my tank. You're an awful person. Did I? Didn't you do? I apologize. Oh, there we go. Some more lights as well. And we are more or less ready. Looks decent. Yeah. What'd you name this place? So. Purple Quarry? Yeah. I like it. Tank, did you really just back into the wall? Damn it, Tank. I got out of the tank and it was sort of rolling backwards. I figured it would stop. Yeah, why, why did you think it would stop? <laughs> it's a tank. <laughs> but if you don't have it to do something, it won't do it. That includes stopping. Crazy man. Right, we will just drop that down there. Okay, so our How first little stone outpost complete. I yeah, think. I think we're going to have to duplicate this <clears throat> in the north. Next to yeah. the water, you spotted a whole bunch of little stone things. And the accumulators are not charging that fast. No? It might be enough to carry us through the night, but it's whether it'll be enough for it to uh, deal Power with the an actual attack. Yeah. Yeah. We might need to basically have two... Accumulator nests and two solar nests. I don't think the oh, second. Here we go. I don't think a second accumulator nest is going to work because they're just not charging fast enough. I think yeah. the slow charging is because there's not a lot of extra electricity. Yeah. So we probably need more solar, or we can hook it up to the main power grid. Well, the lasers are doing pretty good where they are. They've already wiped out an attack. So we're all right right now, for the time being. All right. Well. Uh, do you want to? Well, do you want to do sort of the same setup in the north yeah, where we have a all big these stones? There's a lot more coming. 
Wow, this place is generating quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of heat. Interest. The biters are interested. Yes. What was that you were saying? Uh, I think we can use pretty much the same setup for the northern area, but why don't we see if we can run this track back home and start delivering some stone? Yeah, let's do that, and then we can wrap the episode up at that point. It is that time, I think. And then, in fact, I can possibly run this track whilst... While driving? driving? Oh, I would love to see that. You can't! Look at that! He's putting track while driving. Amazing. Tankable things. Trying not to crash is going to be difficult. Uh, I could actually just drive through the trees if I wanted to do yeah, the tank. Yeah, I'm doing it. And it wouldn't matter. You can do it. Uh, yeah, no. I believe I in you, I will instead Abbott. shoot them with my shotgun. <laughs> there we go. Fastest way to clear a forest, shotgun. Don't believe any of that nonsense about chainsaws. Shotguns all the way. Hmm, Flamethrower's okay. Grenades oh, yeah, work. I guess... Uh, poison well. capsules, pretty good. Alas, I am about to run out of track. Oh no, never mind. I thought ahead and I actually had stupid amounts of track. Now, the question is do we want to set up the unloading area inside the walls or outside the walls? I would Both actually would say fine. outside the walls, honestly. Okay. There really is no biter threat next to our base over here. I mean, no. when we look at the map, there's nothing. We cleared this out and they're not coming back. Yeah. Outside it is. Uh, yeah. Damn it, I need to get down there. And there we go. And once again, trees are the number one thing that I dislike in this game. It's not the biters, it's the trees. What do you do with trees? You shoot them, you chop them down, you grenade <laughs> them, you poison capsule, you run them over with tanks. They're always this in the way. It's pretty much exactly what you do with biters as well. But they're not so really, always in the way. You're treating the biters no better than you're treating the trees. Well, what is a biter really? It's just a walking tree, right? Uh, I mean, it, I guess it does kind of live off pollution, but... Right, I've run out of straight track, unfortunately. So that is the end of me... I don't think we're going to meet up properly. I'm looking at the angles here. We're a little off. That would be a shame. Let me go and... Do you need me to adjust it on my side? Because we can. I probably laid the least amount of track. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Just... We could always just do a little squiggly S in the middle. No! Yes! No! That was terrible! <laughs> Squigglies! No! Don't do it, Shen. <laughs> I'm doing Think it. Think of the children! <laughs> Trees don't have children. Oh, there we go. I'm going to go and grab myself a bunch of track and then come down to help you line that up. And at that point, I think we will probably aim to wrap up the episode. We'll finish off the unloading station off camera. We've done it so many times at this point. Again, I very much doubt anyone is particularly interested in seeing us set that up yet again. But as always, if you are, do let us know in the comments and we will bear that in mind in the future. Just a heads up to anyone. We do tend to record a good couple of episodes in a batch every time that we sit down, just because it, you know, it's hard to get our schedules to line up. So uh, when they do, we take advantage of that. Oh, it's squiggly uh, time, oh my lord! It, no, please no. Ah, oh, fine, okay. I, I, I give up trying to just uh, let it happen. Fight against you. I'll squiggly it a little bit further down. Okay. Yeah, as Ava, right, as Avak was saying, this is the third episode of recording today. Uh, we tend to record two to three, sometimes four. I think two to three has been our, our most um, at yeah. a time. And because of that, it means that we're not going to be able to take your suggestions or your um, comments in. Oh, that looks that looks great. We're not going to be able to take that everything exactly and, and apply it right away simply because we won't see it until maybe the next you know two or three episodes down the road. Yeah. But it's not because we're not reading and we're not paying attention. We, we sure are. And hopefully we reply to your comments as well. Uh, we just need to let you know that we may not be able to... Uh, to do anything about it until a couple of episodes later. Okay. Ah, oh, you fixed it. Good. Perfect. All right. So this will be our new awesome source station where we will be delivering stone 
it seems that most of the things that we have that use stone have actually been built up in this section of the base rather than further away so it makes a little bit of sense to have all of these things up here but uh, hopefully we will be able to start work on making electric furnaces in the very near future so thank you very much for joining us we hope you've enjoyed any critique or feedback warmly welcomed in the comments below but until next time do take care everyone yep have a good day